Hey guys, this is a Jordatude review of the free Android app Metal Detector. Uh, it's an app that's not very practical, but definitely has a big wow effect as it does work. So let me show you how it works. So we'll launch Metal Detector. It's written by a college student. So if you read his help section and tips, uh, he'll tell you a little about himself and uh, some tips on how to make it work. So let's go into the settings. Uh, he has some really funky settings, like you can shield this and make this look like an app that's not testing for metal. I don't know why you want to do that, but I guess he's adding some humor into it. Uh, you can adjust the sensitivity, have it play a sound and vibrate when it when it finds um, different metals. Now it does only find ferrous metals and uh, live electronics. So if you've got uh, ferrous metals being metals that typically contain iron, so it won't find non-ferrous metals, so aluminum, titanium, and copper and brass and things like that. So when you first launch it, you're supposed to take it away from anything that's ferrous or electronic and calibrate it to zero. And we're going to start with some keys. So let's put some keys here. I'll put some keys here and see if it detects the key. So it's detecting it a little bit. It's using your internal sensors. Let me move it here. So you can see it's not very strong, but it, it is picking up some of the metal there. Okay. Not enough to trigger the alarm on the phone. So next we're going to try a pair of kitchen, kitchen scissors. So let's put that over there. And there you go. Okay, it's gone off. So let's see what happens when you move it away. Sometimes you have to reset it like that. Okay. Next, we're going to try some coins. So, put a bunch of coins here. Let's see if it will detect the coins. Let's see, it's just not very sensitive. So, you've got to have a fair amount of metal for it to trigger off. If you have a live electrical cord, it will trigger it off, or uh, a magnet, or anything like that. So. It does work, but you definitely have to be near a fairly prominent uh, ferrous metal or electronic device. Hope this has been helpful.